everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Remy Rai. And in this video, this is the part two of the MailChimp video. So if you're trying to set up a mailing list for your business, for your books as an author or whatever it is you're trying to do, this video is going to show you how. In the last video, I showed you how to create the mailing list. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to build the sign up form to get people into your mailing list. OK, so you're going to put this on your website so that people can sign up on your website. So this video is going to show you how to build that sign up form in MailChimp. OK, let's go ahead. This is the name of the list. New subscribers. You have the stats in here. You have manage contacts. You have add contacts. All of this is going to help you as you continually um, build and manage your list. So you don't have any contacts in your list right now. Now, how do you get people to come into this list? There are two ways you could do that. If you already have um, a list of emails somewhere maybe you collected emails at an event at a book signing or just random people have given you the permission to send them emails at some point or the other you can import that list okay another way to do that is to create a sign up form so you're going to put that on your website so that when people go to your website they're going to click on there enter their names and their emails and then receive emails and updates and stuff from you. OK, so we're going to do the second option, which is create a sign up form. OK, so click on that. It will take you to the sign up forms. Now, there are different types of forms that you could use. There's a general form in this general forms. You can actually build and design your sign up form. It's going to have a separate URL so that when people click on that, it will take them to a separate URL hosted by MailChimp and they can see all the information of whatever it is you're trying to give them and then they can sign up there. OK, there are different reasons why you might want to do this. There are different reasons why you might want to do this. And um, it's just um, it's professional. You know, it looks really good when people click on that and then they see all the information, you know, um, about what is it, what you're trying to give them and they can sign up. So if you click on here. So this is an example of my uh, one of the forms that I have. OK, so it sits on a separate URL, so it's not exactly a form on the website that people just um, you know, put their email on the click on the, this image or whatever link that you have there. And then it takes them to this page. Now, this page, it's all about one thing. I'm trying to get you to get my free five steps to jumpstart your writing project um, document. So when you click on that, you see the image telling you what it's about. And then you see some information about what I'm trying to get you to do. And then you can put in your email address, put in your name and click on that. And then you will be on my list so that's what you're gonna do okay so that's one way to do it you can create that kind of form you can also th create the kind of form where people just really see it on your website so this is an example of the form that is gonna sit on your website so people that don't have to click to go to like a separate URL to now enter their email addresses. It is right there on your website. So this is an example. So this is like an embedded form and you just enter your email address, your name and then click subscribe. OK, so this is how you do that. For the embedded form, the web, the page is going to look something like this. So all you have to do is just fill in the right details and get the code to put on your website. OK, so you want to info include like a form title what are you trying to get people to do then you can you know you can put that subscribe to our mailing list is what i have here okay and then you can show only required fields so the required fields here is just the names the email address and name sometimes i take out the last name because people don't always want to put their first and last name everywhere so you can just leave the first name and the email address and that's it okay so after you fill uh, just the uh, required information what you do now is get this code to put on your website. So you copy this code and then you put it on your website. So if you're using like a WordPress or a Wix or whatever, just look for the widgets that allows you to put in HTML code on your website. You know, just put it on there, save it, and it's going to pop up on your website looking something like this. So when people navigate to your website, they see that, oh, she's giving something away. You can put in their email address and their names and subscribe and get the information that you have. OK, so that's the embedded code. Now, let's go to the other one, which I happen to kind of like best. 
is this first one, which is the general forms that you can build and design yourself. Now, there are different ways to do this, but it's always good to have some sort of graphic that you want to use for that. So it's going to take you to a page kind of like this. And then this is the sign up form. So what you're trying to create right here is the sign up form. All right. Let subscribers pick email formats. You can leave that, you know, checked or, you know, depending on what you want. Now, this is the URL that people are going to be sent to when they click on whatever it is that you have on your website that leads them there. Okay. So now let's go to the place where you get to build your form, right? So you have the title new subscribers. You can either leave this title this way or you can use an image. Okay. I recommend using an image because it just makes it look more professional. It makes it look more, um, sort of exciting for people to look at, look for a good image that kind of represents what you're trying to tell them, what you're trying to get them to do, and then include that on the page here. Okay. So I'm just going to look for a random image. So click use image. It will open up your image files for you. Now I have a lot of images here that I have used in the past. So you can just, you know, you can just click one of them. I'm going to click this one for my writing workshop and click insert. So I just selected this and click insert. Okay. So it's going to give you like uh, this page where you get to edit, you know, and you know, move, move things around, but it's good. So I'm just going to save and insert image. So there you go. So this is an image that tells, you know, the, my subscribers exactly what I'm trying to get them to do. Okay. And then here you can add um, an additional message. So you can say um, anything you want to say and then click save and close. And so you're going to have that information there. You can um, center it on the page. So it looks um, kind of um, cleaner. Okay. And then that's it. So they have the email address, first name and last name. You can take this out if you want and then subscribe to this. Now you can change this. You can make it, you know, you can put something more exciting, something more catchy that will really help them to take that decision. Now where you do change that is where you go to translate. So go to translate and um, look for the place where it says um, subscribe to list. Okay. So you can say, um, get my free book now, something like that. Okay and save it. Now it's going to change the information you have on that page. So let's go back to build it. So you can see it says, get my free book now. All right. And this is what is going to appear on the page when your subscribers click, you know, on whatever it is that you put in there. So this is the URL that you're going to use. So you copy this URL and just like you copied the code from the embedded form and put it on your website, you copy this URL, take it to your website where you have, say, maybe you have uh, an image like this. Okay. Put in that image on your website somewhere where you want people to get that information. So it's clear what you want them to do. And then copy this URL and place it as, um, a connection to that image so that when they click on that image, it takes them to this URL. Okay. So let's assume that we just clicked on that image, copy this URL. This is where it's going to take your subscribers. Okay. So it's going to take them to this page It's almost like a sales page, right? And all you have on, on this page is the image that tells them exactly what you want them to do. And this form where they can put in their information and get your free, whatever you're giving out. Okay. So that is how you set up your um, assets to actually get emails on your website. So now when you have that, all you have to do now is continually send out emails to your list. Okay. Always make sure you send relevant content. If you're an author, you can send, um, you know, just stuff that, um, encourages people to get your books. You can talk about how you, you know, came up with the idea for your book. You can talk about your writing journey. You know, if you are a business person, you can talk about, um, how they can get your products. You can talk about, um, just personal inspirational stuff. You don't always want to sell, sell, sell every time on your list, you know, but you want to give people relevant information that is helpful to them. 
okay and that is how you nurture your list so that's a very important you know for you to do let me know how this goes if you're able to set up your list and then in another video I will talk about how to send out emails okay how to create campaigns and send out emails to your list okay i hope this is helpful for you thank you so much for listening today if you have any questions or concerns you can leave them down below in the comments and i will get to them all right thank you so much and have a wonderful day mm -hmm.